This video is going to talk about Kruskal's algorithm. Um, so what is Kruskal's algorithm? Kruskal is a mathematician and his algorithm solves the problem. If you're given a weighted connected graph, you want to find a spanning tree of minimum or maximum total weight. Okay, so for example, let's say we look at this graph in pink here. So here we've got a weighted graph that's connected and maybe I ask you, find a spanning tree of minimum weight or find a spanning tree of maximum weight. Okay, so, I mean, we know what a spanning tree is from our last video, so let me just draw a little copy of our vertices. Remember, a spanning tree is going to use all the vertices, so here are all the vertices. So maybe I just choose this one, for example. So one, four, seven, eight, four. So then the total weight is going to be 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 8 plus 4. So that's 5 and that's 12, 24. Okay, so the 24 is the total weight of this tree. Now, is this the minimum possible total weight? Or is it the maximum possible total weight? Um, and it turns out in this case it's neither. But we want to know, okay, well, what's a systematic approach so that we can find the minimum weight spanning tree or a maximum weight spanning tree? So to give you a little bit of context for why you might be interested in doing that, let's look at this big block of text. Um, so there are five villages, and they want to be connected to each other via some road system so that they can share supplies, right? That's not uncommon. Um, but they have limited resources, so they don't want to just build roads between every single possible city. They want to pave as little road as possible. Um, so, given the map below where the edge weights represents distance, which road should they build? Okay, so here's our map. The vertices, each of the vertices represents one of our villages. And right now, none of these roads are built. So all these edges sort of represent possible roads. And this number, we'll say, is the distance in miles between this, the villages. So, to make sure that all the cities are connected to each other, we need a subgraph that's connected that uses all the vertices, so a spanning subgraph. But then because we don't want to build any extra roads, we want a spanning tree. So what we're looking for is for a spanning tree, but we want to make sure that we sort of minimize these edge weights, right? Because every edge weight here represents miles of road. So like, for example, if we decide to pave this road, we're gonna be paving eight miles of road because that's the edge weight for here. So we wanna try and minimize the amount of road that we're paving. Okay, so <clears throat> the question is, how do we do this? Um, so I'm gonna describe Kruskal's algorithm to you using this example, uh, and then we're gonna write it out and do another example. So essentially, Kruskal's algorithm says, just take the best possible solution at any given step. Okay, so for example, if you look at all these edge weights, if we're trying to minimize edge weights, it would be really nice if we could build, say, this road that's only three miles long, right? Because that's sort of like a smallest one. If you look at all the edge weights, three is the smallest number that shows up. Okay, so let's include that one in our answer. Okay, we're going to build this road of weight 3. Okay, now this one's sort of off our list. Okay, now what's the next smallest one? So again, we want the best possible one that we could get. Okay, so maybe we take this one, 3 again. Okay, so now we're going to build this one. And it's going to get crossed off our list. And now what's the next smallest weight? It's 4. Now, should we build this edge 4? The answer is no, because we want to have no redundancy in our graph, right? We don't want to build extra roads. So this road would make a cycle, right? Which means that our graph wouldn't be a tree, which means that we're building extra stuff. Right now, these two roads, even or these two cities, even though they're not connected directly, they're still connected, right? They might have to go the long way around, but they could still get from one city to the other via a road system. So we're not going to use this for Okay, then the next best one would be the 5. Should we build the 5? Sure. Okay, so then we scrap the 5 off the list. Next best one, the 6. Should we build this 6? No, we shouldn't, because that will give us a cycle in our graph. Right, so we don't want to build the 6. Next best one is a 7. Do we want to build the 7? Yes, we do. 
And so this, now we have a spanning tree of the original graph, and this is guaranteed to be the smallest possible one, or at least one of the smallest possible ones. So the total miles that we needed to pave were 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, or a grand total of 6, 11, 18 miles. Okay? So, <clears throat> this is just to give you some context for the problem. But now let's look at Kruskal's algorithm. This is also called the greedy algorithm because essentially you're just saying, what's the best one I can have right now and being greedy about your choices, but that ends up giving you the best option. So take the best possible edge that doesn't make a cycle. So best meaning the smallest edge weight if you're looking for a minimum spanning tree or the maximum edge weight, the biggest edge weight if you're looking for a maximum spanning tree. And then just keep doing this until you have a spanning tree. And that's always going to give you the optimal solution. So let's look at one more example. Let's find a maximum weight spanning tree in this graph. So this is a connected weighted graph, and there are a bunch of edge weights all over the place. And here I've gone ahead and copied down all our vertices, because remember, a spanning tree is always going to use all of the vertices. So Kruskal's algorithm says take the best one at any given moment. And we're looking for a maximum. So what's the biggest edge weight in any of these? it's this 9, right? So we're going to draw in that 9. Okay, and then what's the next best edge weight? This 8. So we're going to come in and draw in the 8. Okay, what's the next best edge weight? Well, the next biggest out of all the available edge weights is the 7. Okay, so can we draw this 7 in? Yes, we can. Just because these edges cross, that's not a big deal. We just don't want to create a cycle. Okay, so that's fine. Next one is this 6. Can we take this 6? Yes, we can. So we draw in our 6. We cross it off the list. Okay, next one is a 5. Should we take the 5? Should we draw this edge? No, we shouldn't, because that's going to give us a four cycle here, right? This nine edge, eight edge, six edge, and then this potential edge would close up a cycle. So we don't want that one. Okay, so we scrap that five off our list. Okay, next one, the four. Should we draw the four? Right, should we draw this one in? No, we shouldn't, right? That'll give us a cycle as well to go with this seven and eight. Okay, so we don't want that one either. So we're gonna scrap it from the list. Okay, next best. Well, now we've got a couple of threes. So it turns out we can actually take both of them in this case. So we take that one, and then we come back and see that the next best one is still a three. Right, and now we've connected everything. We've got a spanning tree. So a quick comment before we write down the maximum weight. A quick comment about this is when you have multiples, it doesn't actually matter which one you choose. So say we had only needed one of those threes. You can take either one and that's fine. It'll still give you the right answer. Because the thing is, maximum weight spanning trees or minimum weight spanning trees are not unique. The, the total weight value is unique, but the tree itself might not be. In this case, it is unique, but you can have situations where the tree is not unique. But the total weight, that always will be unique. Which, for us in this problem, the total weight was we took a 9, and then we took 8, and then we took 7, and then six, and then we skipped some stuff, and then took two threes. So, nine and eight, 17, 24, 30, 36, it looks like. Okay, so this is Kruskal's algorithm, also known as the greedy algorithm. <clears throat> um, Kruskal's algorithm is actually just a special case of the greedy algorithm. So just take whatever's the best in that moment, and then go to the next step, and that will always give you the best answer. So this is Kruskal's algorithm.